y'all it's Nasha here and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be trying out some coils and paradise products these are some products that I found out about on Instagram y'all Instagram be getting me in trouble but anyways I have a leave-in and a styling cream and I'll be trying those out for you all today but first before we get into the video if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you didn't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this video. All right, y'all, so my hair is already cleansed and deep conditioned, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into these products. Um, I first have the Coils in Paradise Shirea and Sweet Almond Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And then I have, to style my hair, the Mango and Mafura Styling Cream. Now, I had originally picked up the Mango and Mafura Styling Cream, which is one of the newer products that Coils and Paradise has launched. Um, they also launched the Cocoa Abiscus Deep Conditioner, which I've already done a video on that, so I'll go ahead and link it in the cards for you right here. But what I wanted um, to do was use both the leave-in and the styling cream together, but when I made my purchase, unfortunately the leave-in was not in stock, so I had to wait for it to come in stock. I purchased it, got it, and now I can do a full styling video for you all. So, like I said, my hair is already clean, so I'm just going to part my hair off into four sections really quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply the leave-in throughout my hair. It says that it is formulated with no sulfates, no mineral oils, no silicones, and no petrolatum. And as far as the ingredients go, it has a short list of ingredients, so I can actually um, read them all to you. So there's water... Behentrimonium, alkyl benzotate, which is a, an emollient, satira alcohol, sharia butter, ivory shea butter, a preservative, sweet almond oil, oil, satiric acid, argan oil, castor oil, rice bran oil, um, xanthan gum, vitamin E oil, slippery elm extract, marshmallow, marsh, marshmallow root extract, horsetail extract, rosemary essential oil, tea tree essential oil, fragrance, and love. I do see the ivory shea butter. I don't know, I guess it's just white shea butter. So it does contain shea butter, but as far as aloe vera juice, coconut oil, protein, or glycerin, it does not contain any of those products. This is what the product looks like. It's nice and creamy. It has a nice faint, Slightly fruity scent. I can't really put my finger on it, but it smells really good. I do like it, but it's just on the more faint side. This is the texture in my hands. So let's just go ahead and start adding it. So this is actually nice and creamy. It's on the thicker side of leave-ins in my opinion, but it's not like super thick to where it's just sitting on your hair. It really is absorbing to my hair. I feel like I could actually use this product like by itself as like my leave-in and styler. Oh, let me see the instructions. Does it say that I can use it that way? Yeah, it just says to distribute throughout your hair for best results, seal hair with our multi-purpose hair and scalp sealant. But I so feel like you could use this as a styler on its own. It feels really good. I can feel all the butter is just like really working into my hair. And even though it's on the more creamy side on the thick side there is some slip to it for sure and I think it's due to the slippery elm and the marshmallow root both of those ingredients are really good for um slip obviously slippery elm but yeah so far so good I'm really liking this Y'all, I'm done applying this leave-in, and I already love it. It's super creamy, super moisturizing. Like, my hair is, I feel like this all the moisture that I need. So, if this um, Mafura styling cream is super moisturizing, y'all, my hair gonna be moisturized for days. 
days. Like I already can tell that I like this a lot. The only gripe is because it is more creamy, I am using a lot more than I normally would use with some of my more lightweight leave-in um, conditioners, but I saw them kind of talk about providing this in a bigger size, so depending on how this turn out, <laughs> depending on when they, uh, release that new size I might have to pick it up moving on um, I know this is about quills in paradise but I wanted to do a cute little hairstyle do like a banded hairstyle so I'm gonna attempt to do that y'all may or may not see this on camera I'm really bad with parting and doing styles but I'm tired of the same old twist out so we're gonna try to zhuzh it up a little bit like I say you may or may not see <laughs> the footage on camera of what I'm about to do but you'll see the end result regardless. Okay, y'all, this was a lot of work. I don't know if y'all can even see, but I did like a little crisscross. I just wanted to get that out the way. This was, this took me forever. I don't know how y'all do it with these little cute hairstyles. I don't know if my hair is too thick. First off, it take a million years to part my hair because my hair is so dense. My hair doesn't want to create like nice clean parts but this is as good as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put little jewels and stuff where the rubber bands are tomorrow when my hair is dry. Okay, so moving on to the Mango Amafura Styling Cream. I've already dipped my hands into it a little bit, but it looks like this. This one has kind of like a green-brown tint to it. So I noticed that these um, products aren't very specific in saying like, it's gonna add a bunch of moisture, it's gonna add a bunch of shine, it's going to add a bunch of definition. It doesn't really say that, but um, I'm hoping that if anything, what it's gonna do is moisturize my hair. As far as the ingredients go, this also has a very short list of ingredients. It has distilled water, marshmallow root, slippery elm, pumpkin seed oil, a behentramonium, mango butter, mafura butter, polyquaternium 7, apricot oil, steric acid, sea buckthorn extract, amarin amaranthus seed extract, and geoguard ultra and also love. So this has no shea butter, it has no coconut oil, it has no aloe vera juice, it has no protein, and it has no glycerin as well. We're just gonna go ahead and start in this little back section here. So I'm gonna take about this much and I'll apply it to this section. So it feels very similar to the leave-in. It's very moisturizing, very creamy, super moisturizing. I can definitely uh, tell that this is like a sealant that's really going to seal in the moisture from the leave-in. Oh, I don't think I told y'all the smell. As far as the smell goes, I smell goes, it smells similar to the leave-in. It has that light fruity scent. I'm able to really run my fingers through my hair with this product. So let's just go ahead and twist it on up.
All right, y'all, so this is what the first twist is looking like. So far, so good. Um, my only concern is that it seems to be balling up just a little bit on my hair, not too much, and then again, that may dry. So basically my fear is that it may get all crusty and flaky. Other than that, I really don't have any complaints. My twist is super juicy and moisturized, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to apply this Mango and Mafura styling cream to the rest of my hair, and then I will be back once it is all done. Okay y'all, so I'm done twisting up my hair and this is what my hair looks like. It feels super moisturized and juicy. I'm really liking how both these products are feeling on my hair this far. I'll go ahead and show you how much I use of the Mango and Mafura um, styling cream. About equal amounts of both products. So this is how much I use of the Mango and Mafura styling cream. You can see how much I use of both. Pretty much same amount. So what I'm gonna do is just of course let this dry and then we'll come back tomorrow for the takedown and my final thoughts on these products. But like I said, so far so good. They're both nice and thick and creamy and super moisturizing, which I am here for. Especially, it's the weather here in Georgia has been weird. Like, it's been cold. Um, I wanna say that today the high was like 60 something like 64 or something crazy like that like and it's may i don't know what's going on but this will help keep my hair moisturized i i'm predicting and hoping so but before i keep blabbering on let me just let y'all go and i'll see y'all tomorrow once this is all dry okay y'all so i am back and i went ahead and did all the takedown and the fluffing and all that good stuff off camera and so this is what my final results are looking like i have great definition my hair is super moisturized when i tell y'all my hair is moisturized like my hair is moisturized so moisturized to the point where i felt like I didn't need to go in and separate my hair with any oil on my hands. I separated my, my hair with my hands as is and I got little to no frizz. It provided great definition even though it really on the packaging doesn't really say anything about definition but these two products are definitely bomb. I highly recommend them. The combination of the butters and the oils and all of the other um, like Ayurvedic and herbal extracts is really good. I really like these products. I highly recommend them to you. Um, I don't think they're really uh, expensive. The leave-in is $11.99 and the Mango Mafura Styling Cream is $13.99. So in my opinion, those are pretty affordable. You get eight ounces of product, but like I said, I think I need a little bit more um, product for the leave-in. I really liked it a lot and because it was thicker, I did use more than I normally would with a lightweight um, leave-in. So I wouldn't mind getting this in a 16 ounce, a 12 ounce or a 16 ounce. But yeah, y'all, I really highly recommend these products, especially if, I know for those of y'all who watch my Comet Biologics review, y'all said that 
Comet Biologics, so, well some of y'all said that Comet Biologics is a little bit too greasy for you. I think that this provides the same type of moisture or similar moisture, but it's a little bit less greasy in my opinion. Um, I can see my, like even though I'm heavy handed with this, I don't think my hair is greasy, but I know that if I'm like super handy, heavy handed with the Comet Biologics, I could get to that greasy level for sure. So definitely highly recommend these. These are black owned as well. Um, of course, I'll have all the details listed down below. Let me know what y'all think. Do you like this twist out? Do you like the definition? Like my hair looks and feels nice and moisturized and soft. There's some hold to it. Definitely not a super hold but I definitely feel some hold to my hair to where I feel like this would last a little bit and I won't just have like good day one hair and then on day two my curls are gone I think my curls will last for a little bit but yes y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video the day that I'm filming this part at least and hopefully the day that I uploading you might see this tomorrow but anyways it's Mother's Day and so I want to send a special happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. But that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.